What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to unbox my order from Obsessed Garage and uh, use it. So what I have here, let me show you. See, I don't know which one's top or bottom, so. <clears throat> so we'll just start that in. Just hope I don't cut anything important. So I just ordered a few things. One of them was pretty expensive. So first thing ordered was the lamb mitt for the wheel cleaning. It's 10 bucks. And I needed another bottle of Car Pro Pearl. So here's my second bottle. And I believe that comes with the Adams cap, which is nice. And the best and uh, the best part and most expensive would be this right here. Well, these couple things. Oh, and they gave me a 40 degree sprayer. Nice. Okay. Although my pressure washer setup is actually pretty complete. Uh, never, never say no to upgrades. Here's the SGS28 by MTM Hydro. This is the swivel. That's why I'm guessing there's that extra S is for in SG. SGS28. Bought that. And the wand. So, here it is together. degree bend or whatever to it and I ordered the stainless steel uh, quick disconnects as well which is nice oh, that was really nice okay so pretty cool that they I didn't know that he was going to give you a 45 degree uh, tip 45 no 40 sorry 40 degree and um, I already have two so now I have three um, I'll just probably use this and since I already have a couple I'll just keep keep one on here all the time. So sweet. So this was okay, so this whole thing was 155 bucks, which sounds can sound insane because that's technically more than my pressure washer itself. My Sun Joe was 150 bucks at the time that I bought it. Um, it wasn't on sale or anything, that's just the regular retail price. And this is $155, that price sounds so insane, but this is going to last a super long time. It's going to outlast the pressure washer itself. So thanks Matt, this should be pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to use this right now, I really need to wash my Acura. So that's what we're going to use this for. Um, this car is already clean. Oh, and it comes with some extra uh, um, rubber uh, O-rings. So I'm pretty sure that's probably for the gun or something like that. So and keep this in hand. Probably get a sharpie or something and mark it down what it's for. So yeah. So yeah, that's it. Uh, three things. Two hundred dollar package. Um, and that's about it. But it's. Uh, um, we'll see how this. I'll, I'll have to review this later because this car's clean and uh, I don't really use. Uh, mitts or anything like that to wash my actor wheels because I'll, I'll just use my Meguiar's uh, wheel brightener and that, that cleans those things pretty damn fast. So uh, let's get this to use. I want to put this on the washer uh, right now. Alright guys, so <clears throat> about to use it for the first time. Haven't sprayed it, connected it. Don't see any that's awesome. Don't see any uh, uh, leaks. So it's a nice, it's nice convenience to have this swivel. I don't know it took me so long to uh, get this, but glad I have it now. Awesome. Trigger pull is even easier than my M407. It's just 
so funny how leagues ahead of this this thing is uh, uh, above the Deucey chin that I had. So I also updated my wheel brush a while ago. This is another SM Arnold product. It is, I think it's called like the Tough Tire Brush, like T-U-F, Tough Tire Brush or something like that. I like this a lot too. just like you're paying high dollar for this convenience of a swivel and a really nice smooth trigger pull. Well, I mean, you're getting a really good quality gun as well. I mean, I know Matt took this apart and compared it to some cheaper ones and so have other, other channels. So you, you get what you pay for, I suppose. So why not pay a little more and get that nice swivel, which my uh, other gun didn't have. I think it has to be built in. I don't think you can add it on. All right, guys, so I just wanted to close out the video of the MTM Hydro uh, SGS 28. Uh, I really do like it. I'm very happy with it. It is pretty pricey, but I, I think I'm going to stick with this setup for a really long time. As for my old setup, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if anyone would be interested in it or if uh, I might just give it to another, uh, to a friend who's also into just uh, keeping up with maintaining his cars and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with that yet, but I'm definitely not going to be going back to it. So. That's about it. Um, we'll see what the next what the next thing is. I would like to update my Sun Joe some someday, but uh, it still it still works perfectly fine. There's no issues, no leaking or anything like that. And I have been using it for a couple of years now, uh, almost every weekend for a couple of years now. So very happy with it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh,